Providence Atlantic, Central 352. Central 352. Just 28 Zulu, read back correctly. Go ahead. Roger. Sure, so 28 Zulu, clear to the Torrance Airport. Expect runway 15 right. On departure, fly runway heading. Radar vectors to Camarillo, then the rest of the Santa Barbara Papa 5 tech routing. Papa 5. Climb and maintain 3,000, expect 5,000, 1 0 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.4, so squawk through. Yeah, the runway five. Just to 28 Zulu, central Alcom, or 28 Zulu, 28 Zulu, Roger. Just to 28 Zulu, turn November 28 Zulu, 28 Zulu, separate November 28 Zulu. Man, this thing November will go 28 all 28 the way back to Mashiach. Yeah. Let's just let it finish saying that thing. Okay. So, up until the Santa Barbara, the rest of the Santa Barbara 5 uh, tech routing, you know exactly what that means, right? Up right. to that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Radar so, vectors to Camarillo. Good. So, Camarillo must be part of the Santa Barbara 5 tech route. So, let's go ahead and do routes, and then select the Santa Barbara 5. All the way down. Oh, there it is. Add to route. Then click on that. Remember how we did expand? Yeah. Good. And then the rest of the Santa Barbara 5. You see Camarillo? Uh-huh. And then we'll plug these in. Does that make sense? Yeah. There you go. So basically, I don't I, I don't want Quang. I Correct. Just, yeah. So really, this uh, he basically cleared us for the Santa Barbara 5 tech route uh -huh. minus Quang. Yeah. That's it. So you so, could hold this down. Yeah, I get and then rid of that. Toss that. There you go. All right, so. Let's see. Does that make sense? Yep. Cool. Yeah. And this is what we talked about day one. This is what we file, this is what we're cleared for, and this is what we end up flying. Yeah. 99% of the time, they look vastly different. Six. To Adam. Adam. Victor. Not seeing. Yeah, I can't load an airway here. Oh, I can put seal beach. Right here. Load airway. Oh, okay. So instead of highlighting Adam, I highlighted that this line. Yeah. Three ninety four. And we want seal beach, which is up there. And then direct. So go down to destination. There it is. Okay, Toa. Toa. Good. Done. Home. Bird's eye view. Good. We're not going to that's Boston. Good. Yep, that's good. Awesome. So that is. Just check this out real quick. Yep, that looks good. Okay. See that? Adam, Victor 394, Seal Beach Direct. Yeah. Now that we did that, let's do the in-depth. Before you do the oh. uh, altitude and heading, let's okay. finish the double verification. Yeah. Highlight, and then with the big knob, go one down at a time. Okay. So runway 15. Now, here's why I wouldn't plug in 15 right. Here's okay. why I wouldn't plug in a runway. Because there's 15 right and 15 left. All uh -huh. he said is expect runway 15. Or did no, he, he say 15 right? right? My bad. Procedures or. Oh, yeah. Uh, there we go. 15 right. There you go. So I got that. Okay. I got my clearance limit. And so CMA. Radar Vectors Camarillo. Van Nuys. Van, let's see. Yeah, Van Eyes, then 186. Victor 186 and to Adam. Adam. Victor 394. 394. To Seal Beach. Seal Beach. Then Torrance. Direct. Okay. Good. Double verification complete. Solid That's work. Good. Okay, so now let's do. Let's say a 15. So I'm runway heading. I'll just hit that when I'm down there. And so I got that. 
3,000. So this is not when we do the Vs. This is just us plugging it in, and at the end, we'll go off with oh. our finger over oh, the whole over thing. The whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not checking at all. Correct. Right now, we're just loading so I'm not the doing a double check Good. if I don't do that. Four, six, one, three. Because we do the final check just about when we think we're done. Uh-huh. So if you think you're done now, you could go back on the whole thing and point to each thing and make sure you got it. So runway heading. Yeah, runway check. heading. Check. Root, root check, check. We did the double verification. Yep. Altitude, Altitude check. check. Departure frequency check. check. And score. Transponder four six one three. Does that make sense? Yep, that makes That's sense. That's when you do that final check. Yep. Good, because the check is intended to make sure you didn't forget anything while loading the system. Yeah. So if you do the check while loading the system, it almost doesn't mean you're doing a check. Yeah. Good, 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 solid. Okay. Good. All right. So let's. Normal takeoff. Well, actually, I'll do before takeoff. Menu. Set all checklist. All right, your door's good. Good. Yep. Okay. Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Door. Caps handle is good. Air conditioner is good. Fuel quantity. Full tank. Fuel selector. Boost. Actually, I don't want to do these right here, but I will. Do 50% and check. That's good. That's good. Transponder is set. Autopilot. Good. That's good. Brakes. We're not going to do any of that. Free and correct. Pilot is good. Okay, so we will be doing a normal takeoff of uh, one to five, right? That makes sense. Um, uh, we'll, we'll be using about eighteen or uh, fifteen hundred feet of runway before we take off. Any problems um, before liftoff? Rotating at seventy-seven. We'll just power back just after, still usable runway, land back, no usable runway, um, and below 600 AGL. We'll just go forward, and there's the ocean right there. Um, above 600 AGL to 2000 AGL, uh, we will, which is MSL, um, we will uh, assess the situation, most likely just pull caps because we have that layer right above us. Um, any questions? Good to go. Okay, wraps up at 90. There's one five right. So what taxi clearance can we expect to get from here to one five right? Uh, probably Charlie. Good, that's it. One yeah. five right taxi via Charlie. Yeah. Good work. Solid. So, okay, I am on with ground. And frequency is in there. So, okay. Center over ground. Here's two two eight Zulu at self serve ready to taxi. Texas 228 Zulu, Santa Barbara Ground, runway 15 right, taxi via Charlie, advise information Yankee. And we have information Yankee 228 Zulu, uh, taxi via Charlie to 15 right, 228 Zulu. Good. Okay. At ground 68 Delta Hotel, clear of runway 7 at uh, Mike, like to taxi back for departure to the west. 618 Delta Hotel, Santa Barbara Ground, Roger, uh, turn right there on Alpha. And then uh, after you pass Foxtrot, it'll be the run up there for runway 7. So what I want to do, Jared, on this flight is put everything we learned into practice. Yeah, that sounds great. We'll sort of cement it all and bring it all together. So there's no hesitation. There's full understanding with what ATC wants from us when they tell us certain things. 
That sounds uh, great. Which buttons will I press and when and how the airplane works and the whole thing. So let's do that. Let's bring it all together. Yeah. Good. Look at that. We got to hit Santa Barbara twice. Yeah. Santa Barbara, California. There. Clear. It'll be good IMC departing here again. Yeah. Still on Charlie. Southwest 175, Santa Barbara Clearance. Thanks for Yankee. Okay. Santa Barbara Tower, series 228 Zulu, hold short 15 right on Charlie. Ready for departure. Silver 228 Zulu, hold short runway 15 right, traffic short final, crossing runway. Hold short one five right. Hold short one five right. Two two eight zero. Good. What's the what ten cross the runway? That's the thing that confused me. I think you said traffic something is crossing the runway. Okay. But we said hold short one five yeah. right. He didn't tell us anything, so we're good. Yeah. Um. Oh, I guess there's traffic taking off on that runway. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, they just landed. Or landed. Got it. What's the 10 item pre takeoff check? Okay. So it's seatbelt, or no, caps, caps seatbelt, seat belt, boost, pump, fuel uh, selector, American 1536, fixture, right turn ground, flaps, racer, lights, trim, final. Zulu, wind 150 at 5, runway 15 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 15 right, 228 Zulu. Good. Make sure. Circuit is off, light and trim is set Good and work. zoom And then out. you have two finals, right? So we have a final clear and a final clear. Ah. Good. That 10 item, you could write those 10 items down when you get home. Yeah. 10 items. And the more you do it, you won't know how to take a runway without doing that. It will be habitual. That's how you want to fly a plane. The runway I took off the last time we were here. Yeah, that one five right. Good. Just sink the heading bug. There we go. Okay, airspeed's alive. Ninety knots, flaps are coming up. There we are. Head in the cockpit. Yep. That's all you have. Two hundred feet. Flaps are up. Confirmed. Six hundred. Okay, flaps, caps, and maps. November two eight Zulu contact departure one two five point four. Good day. Over to departure. Good day two eight Zulu. One thousand climbing three thousand heading one five zero. Okay. Departure series two two eight Zulu one thousand climbing three thousand uh, heading uh, runway right heading two two eight Zulu. Series two two eight Zulu Santa Barbara departure radar contact climb and maintain five thousand. I maintain 5,000 Good. Good work. 
I could feel that sun coming. Yep. You could feel it. Good work, Jared. That's all you have in a cloud. Good work. Solid. And you could tell him top 16 if he cares. Okay. Top is 16, 2A Zulu. Remember 2A Zulu, Roger, thank you. Good. When will you fly on a heading different than your current heading? Uh, give me one second. Uh, when will I fly on a heading that is different from my current, current heading? When they tell me some good, different. solid, good work, absolutely solid, good stuff. November two eight Zulu, turn left heading one three zero. Left heading one three zero two eight Zulu. One three. One three. There you go. We're on our way. Yep. Absolutely solid. Look at that. IFR like it's nothing. Yeah. Very simple. Straightforward. There's a method to the madness. We know what does what, when to press what, the whole thing. Yeah. Good. Good work. And challenge yourself. You ever have something that you don't, because many things, since we met, you were telling me there were many things that kind of didn't make sense to me, but I, don't be a pilot who's willing to accept that. Yeah. If something doesn't make sense to you, yeah, research turn the world upside down until you figure out. Yeah. Does that make sense? I, yep. Here's 2A Zulu, turn left, clear direct Camarillo. Left direct Camarillo, 2 a Zulu. Direct enter, enter nav. Yeah. I was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yep. That's how we fly the airplane. That's it. We could get away with the shortcut because it's our next waypoint, and then we need to go to Nav. Yep. Camarillo, 35, 16 minutes. Simple. Easy work. It's good. Temperatures are good. Good work. You know why that happened? Yeah, I hit it twice. Good. good. My Charlie, contact tower, 109.7, good day. Alright, 19.7, Gold Strength, my Charlie, good day. Okay. Good work, 600 feet to go. Santa Barbara approach, uh, good morning in 1106, passing 13,000 down to 9,000. Good, we'll get moving. Santa Barbara approach, advise once you have information, Yankee, expect ILS runway 7 approach. Okay, we'll let you know, uh, we'll expect ILS uh, runway 7 now, 1106. There we go, coming up on 5. November 6, Romeo Lima, descend and maintain 3,000. 3,000, 6, Romeo Lima. 6, Romeo Lima. Pulling it back. Good work. This plane doesn't take a lot of fuel at all. No, it's not bad. It's for very serious. efficient. For the speed this thing does for you, yeah. it's very fuel efficient. Very fuel efficient. Okay, so I got ground. And then that's the most likely my tower frequency. Correct. One, yep. three. That's the big north tower. Two nine are right. And one one left. Point zero seven five. Okay. Let's 
So the winds are three zero, so it's going to be two niners. Two niners. Good work. So let's just do the R nav two niner, and then it's is Seal Beach part of our flight plan? Seal Beach is. That's yeah, the just, best thing ever, right? Yep. Streamlines us right in. Okay. Yeah. Where is Albus? Albus is just right here. Oh. It's further yeah, out. It's on further straight out. out. Yeah. Yep. It's like right here. Yeah. So you see, Jared, an approach yeah, is an approach is an approach is an approach is an approach, no matter yeah, where you're flying to. Yeah, 1106. You could do it in one place, you could do it in another. November 6, Romeo Lima, turn right, heading 280. All right. Tor I thought he was telling that guy to turn right, heading 28 Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> but it was 280. All right, so this is 602. Good. Okay, let's just confirm our... Here at 28 Zulu, contact point, we go approach 128.65, good day. 128.65, good day, 28 Zulu. 128.65. You can just say approach. Okay. Level 5000, direct Camarillo. Approach, there's 228 Zulu, level 5000, direct Camarillo. Solid. 228 Zulu, we'll go approach, we'll go for 2997. 2997, Zulu. Good work. All right, let's keep going through the... Okay, so I have the 29 right LPV loaded. Beach. Okay, drifty. So our first restriction is drifty. Yeah. That or above 2,000. Okay. 2000. Zelba is at 2,000. That's our final approach fix. And then our missed our approach, approach point, point is, is RW 29 right. That's only if we do fly this approach as a MDA uh, or a precision, precision with an MDA. In our case, so LPV, we have a DA, and our missed approach point in space will be 600. Does that make sense? Yep. That Good work. Sense. Solid. Okay, and then our uh, missed approach point is uh, climb to 3,000 direct uh, Xana on track 221. Xanon. Xanon. And then yeah. to Inish. Inish. Top missed approach altitude is? Uh, top missed approach altitude is 3,000. Good! And hold, and we got that in there. There you go. Absolutely solid. And your hold, you see, it's GPS. So your hold is distance, not time, and it shows four nautical miles. Yeah. You can even confirm that against your plate. Yep. See, four nautical miles? Uh -huh. Perfect. So you can confirm everything so you GPS want. GPS holds are distance, not time. GPS is distance, any ground-based, VOR, ILS, timed. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. Good stuff. Solid. That makes sense. Okay. So, all right. So now I'm going to just... Brief it. So I have ATIS in there, I have ground in there. My final approach course will be 294. The minimum as Zelba is 2000. Make a decision at 602. Checks on the profile. And then client Miss Proachman is climb 3000, direct Xanon uh, on track 221 to Inish and hold. And you climb to 3,000. Do not exceed 185KS. We're good there. <laughs> we will not exceed that. Yeah, the notes are good. Procedure not authorized for arrivals. Okay. Video is 202. That makes sense. Easy? Yeah. Easy schmazel. Okay. Good. Are we on radar vectors or direct two right now? Uh, we're on direct two. 
Good. What that means is if we had a crazy crosswind and the autopilot figured that the plane had to point to 030 in order to move uh -huh. our bodies to Camarillo, that would be fine, right? Uh -huh. Meaning on a direct two, we don't care what the heading has to be in order to get us to where we want to go. Yeah, we're looking at our track. Good, 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 solid. The easiest way to think of track is I could maintain a track walking either forward, sideways, or backwards. Yeah. My heading and my track have nothing to do with one another. Correct. Good work. Solid. Good. Look at this little line in the cloud. I know. Isn't I that see. crazy? Yeah, I was noticing that. It's, it's so interesting how that happens. Yeah. Fascinating. And it's really pronounced right here in front of us. Yeah. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, a plateau. Man, imagine ground. just flying through that. <laughs> just skimming the top? Just, just That's yeah. actually really fun. <laughs> <laughs> just flying through it. Yeah, it's so interesting how that works. Yeah. Doing actual, uh, I mean, approaches in, in IMC through clouds, they feel the same to me with my foggles on. I'm just focused on this. Uh -huh. So that's what I was aiming for. Good, good. And I definitely got that. Good. It's really, that's all you have. The The idea with IFR, IMC, is that the outside is changing, but the inside is not. Yeah. So it makes sense. Stick with what's constant. Yeah. Meaning I don't care what's happening outside. This is what's yeah. constant. Just looking. Right. Now, in perfect VMC conditions, the outside is constant. Uh huh. So you can use the outside as your attitude indicator. Yeah. Right. But so the idea with the, being a pilot is, I want to use whatever's constant. Yeah. And in IMC conditions, in and out of clouds, it's very much variable. So I want to stick with my constant, which happens to be my screen. Yeah. So keep that in mind. When you fly a plane, you, we always want to stick with constant. Variables get us in trouble. Yeah. Do you know what an easy way to figure out how much fuel you're going to burn between your current position and your destination? Well, so right now we'll land with 43 and we have 57, so that's 13. Solid. Not 100% accurate because we have the approach loaded to the back end of the system, which is yeah. why this ETE is also not accurate. Yeah. It's probably more like 50 minutes yeah. or even less, but close exactly. That's how you would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good work. And these two things, ETE and uh, FOD, during a climb, they're also lying to you. They're not true yeah. because it's taking the ground speed and the climb fuel and burn, climb. Yep. which is triple what you're doing now. Yeah. So just something to keep in mind. Good. Good understanding. When you know that about the system, you know exactly how serious to take its information. Notice air emissions, runway 29 left, fast, he's out of service, 5G notice of effect, multiple frames of the Cicinius horns. Torrance Arrow Frequency 133.07, use caution for productivity on the Sydney Airport. As this weather is from for California Coastal Waters, available flight service frequencies, read back all roaming sound and full tour instructions, the call plan is awesome, just contact you at Papa. 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 Opening could talk a little faster. Papa time 1749, Zulu wind 3005, visibility 10, 1500 scatter, temperature 22, dew point 15, out, temperature 296. ILS first runway 29 right, can you landing at the parking runway 29 Notice air emissions, runway 29 left fast, he's out of service. 5G notice for effect, multiple screens of the Cicinia Torrent. Torrent tower frequency 133.07, use caution, bird activity on the... Use caution, bird activity on in the vicinity, vicinity of the airport. That's Ventura VOR, Fillmore, Camarillo. Weather should change for another 40 minutes. Yeah, we should be good. And we'll tell we have Papa, and we're looking for the Arnav 2 Niner right. Yeah. So the way uh, sectors work with ATC, meaning they'll tell you to contact a different approach controller, the, the more you approach a busy airspace, the more frequent your handoffs will be. Yeah. The easiest way to think of it is, this is not true, but it's an easy way to generalize it. Think of it this way, all controllers control the same amount of planes. Yeah. But the busier the airspace is, yeah, the smaller you have the, the same area. amount of space, the pla of planes occupying a smaller space than they would in a not so busy area, which is why you get those handoffs. Yeah. So if you're flying oh. from here to Vegas, 
That's a good way to think about it. That makes sense? Uh -huh. So if you're flying from here to Vegas, you'll be with LA Center for about 40 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes, uh -huh. right? Cause it's a big, fat space. Yeah. But if you come into the busy LA area, you have a bunch of planes. So there's lots of different sectors where controllers are controlling them. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Zero seven whiskey contact SoCal approach one two eight point seven five. One two eight seven five zero seven whiskey. Camarillo. And then Van Nuys. Camarillo should be right under the nose. Yep. Going up. Yep. yep. That's where we did the uh, IFR to VFR on top. Yeah. At the first IMC approach. Oh, I need to record the IFR VFR on top. That was yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I need to record that. IFR to VFR. That was when top. we left. Uh, Camarillo. Cam yeah, Camarillo. Clear to the Camarillo VOR. On departure, turn right, heading 275, radar vectors, Camarillo. Fly maintain 3,000, if not on top by 3,000, advise Point Magoo approach, 128.65, squawk 4662. <laughs> That's what they told us. That's, that was our squawk? No. I'm I was like, that'd, be crap, freaky. Man. that'd be freaky <laughs> if I remembered that. It was savant. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That'd be freaky if I remembered that. That'd be mental home type stuff. Sounds like you've done that uh, VFR <laughs> on top from Camarillo a lot. <laughs> but it's a simple one, actually. Yeah. It's you know, out of Torrance, it's a little more complex. Here, it's just radar vectors, Camarillo VOR. Yeah. Clear to the Camarillo VOR. So when requesting that, we uh, said um, we'd like uh, IFR to VFR on top. And we don't have to file them for anything. They just It's just it. like flight following. Yeah. Yep. And then they give you a clearance yeah. to write down. So really, it's just like flight following. Yeah. You get out with ground, say, hey, I'd like IFR to VFR on top. Yeah, and then we went to, was it Santa Barbara? Uh-huh. And, um, and, then, and then he worked on our pop-up clearance. Correct. But the cool thing is we were already on with him. Typically, when you do IFR to VFR on top, uh -huh. especially, well, especially with them. the yeah. what you're already with them, yeah. and many times they'll say, okay, hey, you want to cancel frequency change food, but keep that beacon code because I want to keep an eye out on you or something. Yeah. Um, and so in that case, he asked, hey, where do you guys want to go to? Because we're already on with him. Uh -huh. And then we want to go to Santa Barbara, and it's Charlie. So guess what? We'll just stay on with him, and then he'll tell us to contact Santa Barbara Approach, yeah. which we would have to do anyway because uh -huh. we're approaching a Charlie. Yeah. Not only that, even if Santa Barbara were a Delta or a non-towered, we'd have to contact Approach to get Approach clearance because it was IFR. Yeah. So we had to do the instrument approach. So that really streamlined and worked out perfectly. Yeah, it did. Uh-huh. And that's another thing. Anytime you're on with Approach, ask yourself, does it make sense to get off with them, to get off of them, or would I need to use them in 10 minutes? For, yeah. Right? Because if I get off and contact them again, now I'm a nobody. Yep. But if yeah. I'm sticking with them, he knows who I am. Yep. There's already the Beacon Co. taken care of. I'm and on with them. Following you. Everything's good to go. We've established a relationship. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Traffic, so that's one o'clock, low, one mile. One o'clock. Let's see. Oh, uh, they're gonna be passing. inside. See them? I don't. Right there. Oh yeah. Off our way yep. right now. Yep. Yep. Okay. There we go. Solid. Solid stuff. I'm surprised they didn't get on and tell us about him. About the traffic, yeah. Yeah. He's probably busy eating his sandwich. Actually, I believe they're on an approach to Oxnard. On the instrument oh, approach. Yeah. In which case, maybe because the controller knows that that plane is on an actual approach, uh -huh. the fear of them turning on us is, and yeah. hitting us is lower than it would be if they're just flying along. Yeah. And so maybe. I'm just taking guesses here. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So talk to me, Jared. We we uh, started talking in that room two days ago. Uh-huh. So where, how do you see things now? I want to get it all out of your head. Well, I 
things are a lot more simple, a lot more clear. November 228 Zulu, traffic 12 o'clock, uh, moving 11 o'clock. Four miles, but appears to be maneuvering the air. 4,100 indicated, type unknown. Roger. Okay, Roger, two, looking 228 Zulu. November 3563 Alpha Contact, SoCal Approach, 1.2. So you were saying? So, uh, things are a lot more simple uh, than I had it in my mind. Uh, you know, I was I was unsure, I was, uh, you know, and this, this really just cleared things up for me. Um, and it also, based, you know, just kind of helped me to have that confidence going through the clouds, just... You know, and I, I I always have the foggles on, and I'm glued to the screen, but it's different when when you don't have the foggles on and you really can't see out because you see kind of the edges sometimes. Right. And I'm trying not to peek, but you know, you, you know, being just glued to the screen, and it was actually really nice. To November two two eight Zulu. Let SoCal know you're looking for that traffic. Contact SoCal approach one three four point two. One three four point two 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 eight Zulu. Tango Alpha, you're leaving Los Angeles Cloud Bar Air Space uh, via and can uh, resume our navigation. SoCal, uh, level 5000, uh, we are looking for some traffic to do ACLA. We're Alpha Tango, resume our navigation. Alpha Tango, and uh, thank you. Number 228, the Sulu approach, Perving Alpha Tango, 299 or 6. 299 or 6, GA Calvin has a 4471 echo, 6500 head up to the Also, what? Day, looking for 10, um, also, I, it, it was just, uh, it took, it kind of demystified, uh, because I was always thinking, and I've read, and, you know, it's much better to actually have IMC versus simulated. So I was like, okay, well, what's different? And it really demystified it. And really, there's nothing different. I'm just still glued to the same screen. Yep. You know? yep. We're flying the approach plates that we brief. Yeah. If you're not, if it's not scary briefing it, it shouldn't be scary flying it. Yeah. A hundred percent. Good. Four five six thirty nine. Try one two eight point seven five again, please. Yeah, and then when to, and then I like the also, as you get close, options are coming off the table. So clean your screen up. Throw it away. Clean the table. Yeah. Clean the table. You know how when dessert's about to be served, you clear the table? Yeah. Clear the table. Yeah. Clear the table. It's cleaner. It's more comfortable. Your situational awareness is higher. There's not a bunch of lines going all over the place. You don't know what's coming next. Yeah. Clean the table. Good. Solid. And uh, just really staying ahead of the plane. Uh, you know, like back there, uh, you know, as we were climbing, we hadn't even, uh, you know, as we were climbing, we hadn't even, you know, I guess, been directed to our first uh, waypoint to, to Camarillo VOR, you know, start, you know, loading in the frequencies, uh, you know, your airport, your, your weather, your ground, uh, start loading everything in. Staying ahead of it, because you know what's coming. Yeah. You know, we talked about it yesterday. You should always be ahead of the plane, but uh -huh. especially in IFR. Yeah. Because in IFR, we know exactly what's coming. Yeah. They'll eventually tell us to contact tower. They'll eventually tell us to contact ground. They'll eventually want us to hear the ATIS. They'll eventually yep. want us... We know these things before I woke up this morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to stay ahead of the plane in IFR, there's no excuse not to, because you could do nine out of ten things even hours before you reach your destination. Yeah. Com 2 is fully yours between your origin and destination. You, there's no reason for you to use it along the way. Yeah. All you need along the way is switching the standby and active of COM1, COM one between approaches, uh -huh. and then eventually tower at your destination. COM2 is yours from when you take off for the destinations. You could plug in ATIS and ground of the destination whenever. Yeah. You could stay ahead of it that way. Yep. There's many different things that you could do to stay ahead of the airplane. And in IFR, not only is it important, there's really no excuse not to because we know what's coming. Yeah. We know what's yeah. coming. We have it all. We have it all. There's no surprises. And you see at the end of these few days together, no matter where we're going to, on approaches and approaches and approaches and approaches and approaches. Yes. Yeah. The waypoint names change, the altitudes might differ slightly, but yeah. an approach is an approach is an approach. Activate approach does the same function here yeah. as it does in New York, as it does in Seattle, as it does in Florida, as it does in Salt Lake. Yeah.
That's it. Good work. Good stuff. You picked it up all quickly. Yeah, quickly. That was really good. Quickly. When could you comply with approach plate altitudes? When I'm cleared for the approach and I'm on and an active on second. One or the other, not good enough. Nope. And. Good. Solid. Yep. Good. It's very simple. And all these things, as you can ima remember, when you were learning IFR, seem like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then now, the clarity that you have along with the approach button, for instance, is so simple, stupid, that you think to yourself, why did I ever, why was I ever confused I with that? Yeah. But that's just how it is sometimes, you know yep. what I mean? It takes time to, yeah. And then also, activate just draws a pink line to your the first point that you entered in for the approach. That's all it does. It's, it's and if all, you're on nav, then it'll start taking you there. All but it is is a direct enter enter yeah, to your initial it. approach mix. That's yeah, it. That's it. <laughs> that's yeah. all it is. It's so simple. This arms your up, down, right, left, 3D. This arms only your right, left. Yep. Very simple. Very, very simple. No confusion. V-Path brings you to your glide path. Yeah. That's it. While figuring out the descent rate as your ground speed changes. Yeah. Easy. Absolutely solid. Good. Tinks. See Van Nuys Airport? Yep. That open Straight patch. Ahead. Yep. Calabasas is right off the right wing. And this is the valley. Yeah. Calabasas is right there off the right wing. You see the freeway? Uh-huh, I yep. see the freeway. So it's right on the other side of it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's 101. It. It's on the other side of it. Yep, I see it. South of the 101. And then Van Nuys, and then Burbank will come up next. You'll see Burbank once you pass Van Nuys. A little hazy out there. Yeah. Yeah. Van Nuys looks big. The what? Van Nuys. Oh, yeah. At the airport? Uh -huh. Well, it's just, it's it's nice and long. Yeah, it's long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there it is right here. And then the whole L.A. You can even see downtown L.A., the buildings there. Oh, yeah. In the distance. Yep, nice and hazy. So we'll reach Van Nuys, we'll cut a right on Victor 186 down to Adam, that yep. way. And then we'll cut a left on Victor 394 all the way to Seal Beach. We'll join it to Seal Beach, and then we'll go to direct destination. So it'll really be a left flight yeah. around. And you can see it's really left all around the LA Bravo. Yeah. Keeping you at the altitude they want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the final approach to runway 25s and 24s into LA. Yeah, all the airlines that go way. this way. Morning approach, yeah. American uh, 1208, level 6000. American 1208, approach, right. Turn like 622, climb and maintain 8000. Lots of private jet action in Venice. Climb maintain 8000, green line 622. Turn like 622, when they will direct Gorman, resume navigation, contact departure 128.5. Gorman. Alright, direct Gorman, resume on uh, 12875, green line Do you want a cookie? Oh, I'm good for now. Well, first time is 12 or at 9.1, descending via the... Uh, American 1208, descending maintain 4000. Those do look good. Oh, yeah. And 4000, American 1208. Southwest It's my dessert from dessert. <laughs> yeah. That was 2012, so Cal approach 5% heading back to the sequence, oh. descending maintain 5000. 5000, Southwest 2012. Van is now under us. Under the nose. Almost. American 208, traffic 10 o'clock, about 5 miles northwest, north of Pilatus, 6,000. Welcome to American 1208. American 208, turn right hitting 320. Right turn 320, American 1208. November 28, Zulu approach 124.6. 124.6 to Zulu. Look on approach, good morning, Cherokee 32071, Whiskey 7500.
approach Sirius 228 Zulu, 5000. Sirius 228 Zulu, Sakala Park, Roger. And member 739 Delta X-ray, Sakala Park, Sirius 285 contact. Visit the navigation. Good. Joining 186 to Adam. Yep. Adam will be our off ramp where we'll turn right and join Victor 394. Just like freeways, yeah, off ramps, on ramps, off yeah. ramps. Yep, you could join a freeway from a freeway. See Burbank right there. Yeah, that's Burbank. Should be right off your left. The wonder, what? I wonder how the elevation in this area compares to that. Of, it's it, higher. Yeah. So I want to say it is close to a thousand even. Let's see. 802. 802. Yeah, yeah. so it's closer to 1,000 feet. So it's you're looking at about 700 feet difference. I yeah. like the whole Torrance area, the water. Yeah. So much so, it's funny. I have a friend who recently undergone has undergone a an eye procedure. Uh huh. And he, the doctor told him he can't fly and can't do anything um, due to pressure. What do you do? Do oh, I just clearing everything? Yeah, just clearing everything. Yep. Uh, um, the doctor was telling him that he can't do a um, airplanes or stuff due to pressure for his eye. Oh. So much so he could go up to come up to the valley from LA because that alone would affect his eye. It was so sensitive. Yeah, it sounds like he has glaucoma. Something I don't know. He he, he did a procedure. Poor thing. Yeah, it's, like ever or no 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 just until oh, just to settle or something. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. You know, like people go through stuff and they can't fly for a while? Yeah. That kind of thing. Similar thing. And then there we go. So Cal, then you have all the freeways that take you down towards LA. Yeah. There's, there's, there's Southwest, just took off of Burbank, and that's the pilot who was just talking on the frequency. You see him right there? Climbing? Yep. Yep. They just took off out of, uh, of Burbank. And they were just told to make climb maintain 6,000. Jets are cool, zipping through the air like that. I know. Those yeah. are cool. Southwest 1989, turn right, adding 270, and climb maintain 1. We'll turn right now. Yeah. 270-13,000, Southwest 1989. There we go, right turn. That's awesome. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. The Hollywood sign is on the other side of this mountain. Okay. Yeah, I don't know oh, if we'll this, see the other one. Right this here. little ridge right here, yeah. this little mountain. So it's facing that way. Yeah. But look at that. Okay, LA. This area is huge. Yeah, and crazy. It's filled up. Uh, we're huge. Yeah. Uh, looking for live bowling. Two white lines. That looks like a good golf course right there. The what'd you say? Golf course right there. Oh, yeah. Southwest 1989. I don't know if we'll be able to see the Hollywood sign. I don't think so. No. One, two, Juliet. There's a shiny building down there. Yeah. So how long do you own this plane? A year. No problems. No. Nope. I, I love it. What would you tell someone who's thinking uh, buying this kind of plane? What the, uh, did anything catch you off guard? Did you learn anything? Was there anything you didn't expect? Is there anything you wish you knew? I think being a fairly new pilot, 
Uh, when I went to pick it up, I didn't know like what I should examine, what was acceptable, what was not. You know, I, it's like I needed, you know, some advisement on that. Um, you know, and I I talked to people, I tried to learn as much as I could, and I feel like, you know, I I looked at everything, I tried to be as thorough as I possibly could. Uh huh. Um, and uh, like one of the one of the issues that we had uh, when I was well, one of the issues that I had when I was picking it up was that it was over boosting very very easily. Um, and even still, like I can't go all the way to the these stop. planes are known for it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, and I just you know when I saw yellow, I'm like, Ugh, no, you know, and yeah. And it's it's really when you see red, uh, you know, red is red is red, yellow is yellow. Um, I think also, you know, I had an okay uh, handle on the avionics, uh, you know, and I mean I had enough to to load to get around, but I wish I had, you know, again more knowledge, um, you know, from. You know, what 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 I accomplished this week, this trip? Good. Left seven zero zero seven zero nine. Yeah, the avionics on these things are a beast. Two eight zero traffic twelve o'clock and about a mile, turning northeast. See him right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have traffic in sight. No factor two eight zero. Interesting. So you're saying advisement when purchasing it of what to look at. Yeah, when you're picking it up, um, you know, and they were they were kind of focused on the experience of it, and I really didn't care about the experience. I was I was just more focused on okay, let's let's uh, pick this up, make sure it's good. Um, you know, like one of the things I know this is a very small thing. Level cruise four but uh, there's a there's a big scratch on the wing where the TKS is, and I thought, well, you know, it's going to get scratched up. And, and after having this for a year, I'm actually really careful to not scratch the plane to to do a good job. And I wish I would have just said something. Hey, you know, guys, you need to fix this. I mean, there's a there's a chunk of cash. It should be like that. Right. Um, but that's a small thing. It's just cosmetic, you know. Uh, I think I think getting that over boost fixed. You know, I lost I lost a day of training because their their shop was kind of backed up, and that was that was kind of frustrating. But I think all in all, it was a great experience. And, and uh, the sales rep that that I bought this through, he was amazing. He, you know, I called him and he was like on it, and that's when he got every everyone moving good real fast. Um, and I was I was a little hesitant to call him. I was like, well, you know, I don't want to bug him. I don't want, you know, but it's good. I mean, if you if you don't ask, the answer is no every time. Right. And uh, but he was, you know, it was good. And then and then he and I flew back. Uh, you know. He flew with me back to, to Salt Lake. He's in Denver. Really super nice guy. And really all of the people there, they were really nice. Uh, they just, you know, some of them just weren't moving as fast as I would have liked because I, you know, losing that day of training. Right. Um, you know, which I, I, I paid for, you know. That was great. Zulu traffic, 11 o'clock, 2 miles westbound. The Skyhawk, 4,500. Looking to a Zulu. Should be somewhere right around there. Uh, okay, it should be somewhere right in this area over here. Oh, actually, it's right there. See it? Against the mountains? Clear direct from Ono Navigation. Yeah, good. Traffic site, no factor. So, all in all, it was a good experience. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you do? Would you do anything differently? There's 28 Zulu, contact us, Albert, 125.5. 125.5, 228 Zulu. 99 Delta X-ray, traffic 11 o'clock. Approach, there's 228 Zulu, level 5000.
Oh, the, we'll get back. 28 Zulu for California. Commentary well, altimeter 29904. 29904, 28 Zulu. You see that guy? It's a twin. 2,000 feet beneath us? Yeah. No, I see him on the screen. They're turning that way now. Yeah. It's going right underneath us. Yep. I think all in all, what I would do different, um, probably would have spoken up a little bit sooner. But even though I didn't speak up as soon, it still resolved, and it's, it was still it was still good, and it was still a satisfactory um, experience. Good. Um, yeah. Yeah, the the whole process and Cirrus is great. You know, they they really are. This is a fantastic okay, plane. Uh, and I felt like the reason why I bought it is I was I wanted to be safe. I wanted all the technology. I wanted the you know um, realizing I'm a new pilot. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to be safe. I wanted to have all the situational awareness. I wanted all the, you know, again, all the bells and whistles. I didn't want to accidentally stall it. I didn't want to accidentally overbank it. Um, you know, and I, I liked all of those safety features. Okay. Looking to a Zulu. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. Yeah, that guy right there. He's way out there. 782 Sierra Romeo request. I hear you. Look at that. Okay, good. 782 Sierra Romeo, say your destination. So all things that were resolved. All things that were, yeah, they're all resolved. Good. KHND. Awesome. Yeah, and, and even... Even the, um, you know, the guy I use for, for maintenance, he's, you know, Cirrus, I guess. November 2, Sierra Romeo, squad 4646. It's a Cirrus Center for maintenance. Four, six, four, he's great. Six, nine, he's great. Two, I, I, I really like him. Yeah. Uh, that's important. Yeah. Uh, two, Sierra Romeo, radar contact, three miles that is important. Airport, Good. Meeting, BFR, edible, 6, Good stuff. Yeah, no, I know there's a lot of people are looking to get, get into these airplanes and on the wait list. Yeah, there yeah. are. Yeah, in fact, before I even got it, someone heard from somebody else who heard from somebody else that I had this plane, so they followed that chain back up and gave me an offer for it. Oh, wow, look at that. Traffic, 12 o'clock, low, three miles. Contact approach, 127.0, let them know you look for the cabin. 127.0, let them know. Two zero, Romeo, thank you. Let them know. I'm going to I'm gonna let them know. So we have the weather. Let's get on with the approach and request. Let's get on with them and request. Tell them we have information what? Information pop up. And request the um, RNAV 29 ride approach into Torrance. Oh, there he is yep. right there. That twin. Seven three nine delta X ray. Miles back. Base. Oh yeah. Zero, Closure rate. We're in the turn. Nine delta X ray. I think we got stuff done. November five delta Lima. This one traveling in the Cape. Look at this waypoint. It's called. It's me. It's me. Number two eight Zulu traffic. No factor. Just gonna maintain four thousand. Down four thousand two eight seven. And we have information. We have information, Papa. Approach series two two eight Zulu. We have information, Papa. Requesting an RNAV two niner. Right. right into uh, Torrance. Two eight Zulu Roger. Plan on making that request with the next controller. They run the final into Torrance. For now. Let's do the four thousand right now. She told oh, yeah. us. November two eight Zulu. Make your approach request with the next controller. Fly present heading. Join Victor three ninety four. Present heading. Join Victor three ninety four. Two eight Zulu. Delta Lima traffic will pass off your right. Contact approach on one two four point six. So everything stays the same. Descend to maintain four thousand. Yep. Good work, and we'll request it. We'll request it from the next controller. Yep. What's the approach frequency on? Nine Delta X ray. You can resume all navigation. Remain outside of Bravo airspace. It is. Do that. One two. Two nine nine one two seven point two. So let's take a guess and put that on the standby. One two four. So, so that's one one. One five zero. One five zero two eight zero. And join Victor three ninety four. And join uh, Victor three ninety four. Good. So one five zero. Good. And then we'll go ahead and activate this leg here, where we'll go ahead and intercept it. So. Let's activate Adam to doubt. Okay. Two 
Good. Home. Two miles, same direction, 5,500. Yep. Yeah, home. That's it. Okay. Perfect. And the track vector says that we'll intercept it there, and we have GPS on standby. Good stuff. Solid. Good work. Yeah, I need to stop looking, looking at the buttons and look at my scoreboard. Scoreboard. Yeah. Buttons do nothing. If I press this and it's not working, yeah, pressing does nothing. My GPS plan is turning. We're intercepting 394. Good work. 121.3. 121.3, 28 Or different frequency altogether. Okay, view park third aisle approach, uh, two zero right, three one whiskey. All we'll say is level 4,000. We have information. Papa looking for the RNF 29 right. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Approach there is 228 Zulu, level 4,000. We have information. Papa looking for RNF 29 right. 228 Zulu, so come Roger. Thanks. Expect it. We'll expect two and under, or two two eight them. Good. We have it loaded. We cross check the altitudes. Seal Beach is our initial. If we did procedures activate approach, what would happen? We'd go to Seal Beach. Pink line from us to Seal Beach and sequence us into the approach. Yep. Easy? Yep. Solid work. Good understanding. Good. All right. So we only have Anaheim and then Seal Beach. Number six six one three. Also maintain three thousand. 3,000, one Switch. Approach. Hit 6.5, descending 6.3, and 190 on speed. 770 for Julia SoCal, reduce speed to 170, and turn right. Right turn, heading 360. All right, slow to 178 and right turn to 360. Zero, zero, I'll set you with that. November 0x for Juliet, maintain 3000. Send the 3000, 0 for Juliet. We're on our way. Yeah, flying in California now feels very comfortable to me. Good. I need to do it some more. Good. What build is that? That's Fullerton. Oh. Zero X-ray, Julia, turn left, hitting okay. 280. Left 280, Zero X-ray, Fullerton, right there. Fullerton. Oh, yeah. I recognize that. We flew there. We did. Yeah. We're one Charlie off, turn left, hitting zero, 010. Zero. John Wayne. That big patch right there, the open one. Oh, big yeah. Uh-huh. From zero X-ray, Julia, turn left. Low Salamitos, zero, military, local Army. Local. Okay. Left yep. two, two, zero, two big runways, yep. Zero, okay. And then that big patch There's beyond two, it so is Long Beach. One, three, five, oh, okay. Four. We'll and then Torrance is after right that. Right over there. Oh, I see the little hill yep. there. 135.4. For two and we're going over Disneyland again. Uh-huh. From a zero X-ray, Julia. Grab another picture of that. Right there, yeah, smack ahead of us. Bob Lemon, the center maintain 3,000, so establish on local hazard. Clear to ILS runway 20 right approach. All right, uh, 3,000, so established, cleared to ILS uh, 20 right, 0x, right, so Juliet. Actually, it will be right off your left when we make a right turn to, to Seal Beach. So it'll be a good picture there. Yeah, that'd be good. This was truly the California tour. Yeah, very much was. And we hit all south, southern yep. California day one. Yeah, we did. Number two, two, a Zulu contact approach, 127.2. We'll see you. 127.2. 2.8 Zulu. 2.7.2. Approach, there is 2.2.8 Zulu, level 4,000. Two two eight Zulu SoCal approach. Expect the RNAV runway two nine right approach. Fly heading two three zero. Two three zero, and we'll expect the RNAV uh, two nine right. Two two eight Zulu. Okay, so what was the heading? Guy was thirty thirty one twenty two thousand. I believe it was two three zero. Uh, three three zero. Three. Guy was thirty thirty one twenty two thousand. Uh, 
Because you don't remember, let's confirm with her. Yeah. Let's do this. Someone's talking. Yeah. November 87, Victor Runner. November 87, Victor. So Cal Desert Flight 213, 8000, descending via the OC2. Yeah, someone's talking. So now we're in heading. Let's do procedures activate approach because Seal Beach is still on the table. Does that make sense? Yep. Good. Uh huh. It just cleaned the whole thing. Up. Great situational awareness. Yeah. She could still very much tell us direct Seal Beach. Makes sense? Yep. Good. Good work. Eight, Let's go ahead and put Torrance Tower on the standby of COM-1, 133075. Vertical track. Good. We're ready to go there. Yep. Absolutely solid. And we can do this a million times. All it'll do is draw a pink line from us to the initial approach fix. Minus. Oh, they might change the weather on us. Back. Probably changed it. Yeah. Towards your vertebrae, go back time 1847 Zulu, wind 27010, visibility 10, 1500 scatter, temperature 232.14, altimeter 2 nanor, nanor 5, I left approach runway 2 nanor, right to you, signing at a Good. Yeah, and then 2 nanor, nanor 5. Solid work. Is Seal Beach still an option? Still an option. Good. We'll keep it on there for now. Good work. That's how we think when we approach our destination under IFR. Yeah. You know the whole discussion in IFR, don't activate vectors to final too soon because then you lose the whole thing. Now that you have a good understanding of what activate approach does in vectors to final, there's no confusion. No. Of course I won't do vectors to final now because in a moment they might tell me direct seal beach. Yeah. There's zero confusion with that. It becomes very clear. In just about 10 seconds, Seal Beach yeah. will no longer be on the table. Good. So, uh... Here's 2 Zulu, fly heading 220 for traffic. 220 for traffic, 228 Zulu. I should just say 220. <laughs> it's solid. Solid work. What did she say on the heading? Oh, 220. Good, there we go. Good. Good work. Yeah, thank you for catching that. That was not good. I should have. Seal Beach is down. no longer an option. Right? Correct. Well, she won't I tell mean, us to yeah, turn right and go to like Seal Beach. Really By the time we turn, uh, yeah, we'll our radius will be passing. Let's go direct Driffy. Flight plan, highlight Driffy, direct enter, enter. Good. Home? Good. If she says direct Driffy, boom, 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 nav. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. You see how we're ahead of the game? She doesn't even know we're sitting here walking through this in our head. Yeah. But what this does is it puts us in a place where we are ready to catch whatever she throws at us. Throws yeah. at us. Solid. Good work. Now if she says turn right, vectors, final, approach course, or whatever it might be, activate vectors to final. Yeah. Easy. Good work. Solid. See Torrance? Yep, there it is. And it's not just California. Flying anywhere should not be intimidating if you know what goes into an approach. And how this works. You, when you fly to Seattle, this is what you'll do. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. In the clouds, outside the clouds, this is what you'll do. Desert Flight 213, connect approach 121.3. 121.3, Desert Flight 213, good day. Look at the clouds, how they... Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Okay, all United 15, 13, 9, descending via the... You can see the top of Catalina. Yeah. yeah. Yep. November 2, 8 Zulu, turn right heading 270 for traffic, descend and maintain 3000. 270, descend and maintain 3000, 2 8 Zulu. November 2, 8 Zulu, traffic 1 o'clock, 2 miles southeast on a Skyhawk 3000. Look at 2 8 Zulu. 
Good. And 100 knots. 500 is good. 500? Yeah. We do have echo. Uh, expect the ILS uh, 20 right. Then we can give you that. If we control our speed, it would be perfect. 100 yeah, knots. Good work. Roger, uh, I'll do 20%. Good. Copy that. Here's 2 Zulu, Travis Snowpacker. Just have to maintain 2000. Down to 2000, 2 Zulu. Okay, I'm going to request proxy support, uh, proxy, IOS, 2, and then I write into Torrance. Remember, 3, whiskey mic, so Cal, let's first try to call the clock out from the Sierra 3, yep. descending, turn uh, left, left heading, I won't do it yet, but Driffy's off the table, I would say. I would say so too, Vectors to final. Procedures, activate Vectors to final. That's it. Two, eight, Zulu, fly heading 240. 240, 280. One o'clock, two miles, north eastbound, 2800 indicated. Good. And 100 knots. Easy. You see how the slower we go, the shallower we can get away with while still. Perfect. It's comfortable on the ears. If she, if she tells you intercept final, what button would you press? This or this? Good. What if she says clear approach? Clear or approach? Good. Solid. 3D. Good, solid, good work. Southwest 1399, Travis Snowpacker, climb maintain 7,000. 7,000, Southwest 1399. Sierra 28 Zulu, 3 miles from Zilba, turn right heading 280, maintain 2,000 till south, third RNAV, runway 29 right approach. Okay, uh, right heading, what's it? Uh, Sorry, can you give that to me to 280 Zulu? Sierra 28 Zulu, no problem. Uh, 280, I'm heading, maintain 280 on the heading, maintain 2000 till established, two, cleared RNAV 29 right, 228 to them. Southwest 1399, kind of approach 134.35. 3435, Southwest 1399. And then I want to. That's three whiskey, Mike, six miles from Zilba, southwest turn right. Are you cleared? Three, three, I am cleared. Maintain, uh, you can do approach. Altitude, approach it won't touch the glide paths above us, and we're descending in BS, so we'll keep descending all the way to our floor. Okay. And then when it reaches the center, so you see it intercepted the glide, the needle. And yeah, then it'll three, intercept and GP. And GP. So the diamond should be smack in the center at 2000 at Zilba with the right altimeter set again. Does that make sense? Yep. Good. Good work. So what you did there is you waited for her to stop talking and then repeat it back before you started moving. The moment you hear her say right turn 280 while she's still talking, get the plane moving in that direction. Okay. Make sense? Make Good. sense. Many times they're late to vector you on a final, and then you blow through it just because you were slow and moving and repeating things back. Here's 2 contact Warren Tower, 133.07. Over to Tower, 228 Zulu. Good. Just say RNAV 29 right. Torrance Tower, 228 Zulu, RNAV 29 right. Number 2 Torrance Zulu, Torrance Tower, continue on Number 2, following sling, 2 mile right, base running, 29 right, clear to land. Number 2, 29 right, clear to land, 28 Zulu. Good. 2000's coming up. And in a moment, the diamond will touch the center, and it will switch to glide path, because it's armed. You see a map and there it is. You see that? Uh, Good. Set. Later. How many more are you going to be in the And board? there's Zilba, and there's 2000. See that? Yeah. We'll Easy. And now we're GPS and glide path sliding right. down the slide. Now when you're following here, it's four and a half to final 3, 2, 000, 0, not Go to work. Indicator reporting site. Solid work on increasing the altitude to the top missed approach. Let's do flaps and mixture. Good work. Charlie, thanks. I got several. Actually, you know what? Uh, there's one approaching on the ILS on a uh, 
seven miles out, 2,100 indicated Cessna. Got another Cessna behind the Cirrus that's on the base, 1,200 indicated. Um, just extend now and I'll call your base. So that one, you'll call the base. He's a really nice controller, this guy. Is he? Really, really nice. Nice. Really nice. 600 left. Good. Great work, Jared. Ten three with three whiskey mic towards driver and two nine right quick low approach continue inbound. After your low approach, fly straight out. Continue inbound to whiskey mic. Three whiskey mic right quick low approach. After low approach, fly straight out. Yeah, for low approach, after approach, straight out, three See the plane on the runway just landed? Yeah. Cool. Traffic, 10 o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile. They're turning for the 29 left. Inside 280. 500, minimums, minimums. Bridge uh, 2000 indicated Sassner reporting site. We'll report inside these Thanks. Runway clear, no inside factor. Roger, and you got one off your right as well. Number two, Sierra Charlie. We got both of them, Sierra Charlie. Two, Sierra Charlie, Roger. Bumpy. Following the one over the bridge, Sassner, yeah. number, th number uh, one, two, three, four. Number four, running two nine or right, clear for the option, then right traffic. Four, two nine, clear for the option, right traffic, two, Sierra Charlie. Clear one to after your uh, running two nine right. Clear for the option after option. Make right traffic. Clear for the option. Uh, right traffic. Clear one to go. There we are. Welcome to Torrance, Jared. Very nice. We are back. We are back. Seems like uh, three it's been track. longer After than a day. Right <laughs> <laughs> yep. We did fly to a lot of places. Let's not Charlie over to ground too easy then. There we are. Let's zoom in on the map. Good work. Solid. Good. Oh, coyote. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they get there. Yeah, I'll tell. Yeah, about tell it. them. Tell them there's a coyote. Oh, there's two. There's another one. Oh, wow. See that? How in the world do they get there? Cirrus 22 Azu is uh, on Charlie uh, off of 29er right. And also, there's a couple of coyotes out here. Cirrus 22 Azu, Torrance Con Roger, thank you for that. And uh, say intention. I'd like to go to self serve. Two A Zulu, charge self serve taxi via Charlie Alpha Echo. Charlie Alpha Echo, two A Zulu. Two coyotes. Yeah, that's wild. How in the world do they get here? Like, there's houses all over the place. Yeah. I guess they just live here at the airport. Coyotes or foxes? No, those are coyotes. Coyotes, right? Yep, coyotes. Foxes are smaller. Okay. Look at that. Coyotes at the airport. Unreal. Jared, solid work. I think you're ready for your Seattle trip. Yeah, I am too.